Hi, I'm Jerry James Stone, and today's recipe is a Meatless Monday recipe. Are you ready? Ready to eat less meat? Okay, well, there's never no any meat on this channel anyway, but this recipe is for Meatless Monday. I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious cauliflower enchilada. So I use cauliflower rice, I use tempeh, so this thing is protein-packed. It's delicious and filling and healthy and comforting and everything you need for a tasty, meat-free Monday. So let's get to making it, okay? Oh, wait, before I go, I forgot. So be sure to check out my cauliflower recipes that I have on my channel. I have other ones using cauliflower rice, like pizza crust, salads, all sorts of cauliflower rice recipes. I also have a ton of vegan recipes, so check that playlist out too, because if you're looking for tasty vegan foods, this is the place to be. The first part of making this recipe involves uh, sauteing some spinach. If you haven't yet, I have a video on my channel that shows you exactly how to saute spinach perfectly every single time. So be sure to check that out. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So now I'm just gonna transfer this to a strainer and let that excess water drain out while we cook the rest of the enchilada filling. Okay, so for this next part, I have some uh, minced garlic here that I'm just kind of warming up in a little bit of olive oil. Just on a low heat, like medium low, just enough to like bring out the aromatics. I don't want the garlic to fry. By the way, I mentioned this is a Meatless Monday recipe, which means there's no meat, but we're making the quote unquote enchilada meat right now. This is the enchilada meat part of this recipe. Because you know what? Eating meat free is actually really freaking easy and really freaking tasty. And it's good for you and the planet. So just warming up some garlic here in the olive oil. Okay, so I added in my minced red onion here. Once again, just sauteing this. Also, I have a really great video on how to chop onions and do it without crying. So you should really check that out. I'm just gonna saute these. I'm just gonna sweat them a little bit. Now I'm gonna add in some tempeh. This is ground tempeh. Tempeh is uh, tofu's like younger, crazier brother. It's uh, really nutty, has a nice nutty flavor to it. It's tofu is more like a cheese. It's actually curdled soy milk and tempeh is actually fermented soybeans that are then formed into a cake. So I'm adding this because it's super high in protein. So it's gonna make these enchiladas a balanced meal. We don't want just carbs. So perfect for Meatless Monday. It's healthy, it's tasty, and it's filling. Okay, so we sauteed the, the ground tempeh just for about a minute over medium high heat. Now I'm gonna add in the next part, rice cauliflower. I love rice cauliflower as an addition to so many things because it's really easy to work with. It's a great way to add, I love that sound, that sizzling sound. It's a great way to add veggies to almost anything. So you can add rice cauliflower to scrambled eggs. You can add it to your marinara sauce. So if you really wanna just like veggie up anything that you're making, it's a really great way to sneak in more veggies and not even really notice it. So we're just gonna cook this for about, saute it for just a couple minutes get some of the moisture out of there. You can see all that steam coming off. Okay, so we're ready for the next step. We're gonna add in some taco seasoning. It's just standard out of the package taco seasoning. We're gonna add in some tomato paste. And then a can of diced tomatoes with green chilies. Now we're just gonna mix this all together. And this is gonna make our enchilada meat for the, our Meatless Monday enchiladas. Super flavorful, really spicy, delicious, high in protein from the tempeh, veggie packed from the cauliflower. By the way, I have a lot of cauliflower recipes on my channel, so be sure to check those out. If you love cauliflower, you can use it for pizza or salad or whatever. Um, but we're gonna use it for enchiladas today. Just gonna let that cook a little bit, cook out the extra liquid that we added. It just looks like regular old taco meat, huh? Super healthy planet-friendly, people-friendly. It's gonna be so good in the enchiladas. Now we're just gonna build our enchiladas, starting off with a little bit of cheese. Next, add in some of our sauteed spinach. That's a little bit more. And then add our 
cauliflower and tempeh taco meat, or enchilada meat. And then I'm just gonna roll this up, add them to a baking dish, squeeze them all in there. Now just cover them with some enchilada sauce. Top them off with more cheese. More cheese, please. And just decorate them with some sliced black olives. And now we're just gonna bake them at 350 for about 20 minutes. Okay, these things are good to go. How tasty does that look? So that's it. That's how you make the tasty cauliflower enchiladas. Not too bad, right? That tempeh, tempeh is a wonderful thing to mix into your recipes because depending on how you use it, you might not even know what's there. And it's super, super great protein. It's like just high in protein. It's lean as far as that goes. It's plant-based. What else do you need, right? So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. And if there's something that you wanna see, just drop a comment down below, okay? I'll see you guys next time.